hello students uh, in this uh, faculty video um, we shall see the principle of uh, working principle of thermocouple type instrument or thermoelectric type instrument so we have seen in the prior video uh, related to rectifier type instrument which can be used only for low frequency operation so that means ac voltage or ac current can be measured for using rectifier instrument only under low frequency operation whenever we are going for high frequency operation its performance is going to be deteriorated so that can be uh, that disadvantage can be compensated by using a thermocouple type instrument the range of uh, utilization is up to 500 volts you can use this particular instrument and 0.5 to 20 amperes also we can utilize this one whereas the rectifier type instrument we can use only for milliamperes of ac measurement whereas this you can use up to 20 amperes of ac current measurement here so the basic uh, principle behind uh, rectifier instrument is seebeck effect principle what is this seebeck effect principle we shall see now so to see the schematic of this this is uh, ac voltage given as input generates a current of i and uh, um, here the main uh, key role player is this one the thermocouple junction how it is being formed metal 1 and metal 2 so both are dissimilar metals this is very very important two dissimilar metals are to be joined to form a junction okay this is one junction this is referred as a sensing junction or hot junction so other side what we can have is we can take it as a other uh, junction so usually what happens is the junction uh, temperature maintained by this junction will be deferred from other junctions here and then other end is being one end is connected to input supply and the end is connected to your pmmc so whatever i have written it is im and rm so that means these are the pmmc parameter full scale deflection value and internal resistance of the meter so once you go through the final uh, principle of this so we shall see the angular deflection is proportional to irms square value that means so theta is proportional to i square rms whatever your angular deflection values shown will have a square of the value so it is called a square law response rms is root mean square value there so to draw a block diagram input supply thermocouple system pmmc after input supply maybe ac voltage or current we are going to have here this is given to thermocouple system and then after thermocouple system we have pmmc meter for which the output is taken at theta proportional to i square rms and the mainly the advantage of this uh, thermocouple type instrument or thermoelectric type instrument is it is used for ac measurement of high frequency applications okay under radio frequency operations we can use this thermoelectric type instrument for uh, ac voltage measurement so the basic principle behind is Seebeck effect. What is this Seebeck effect? Seebeck is a person who has identified this particular thermoelectric law. So this under uh, this principle what we can uh, define is when two dissimilar metals are formed to have a junction and that junction is referred as a thermocouple junction and if two junctions of metals are having different temperatures then a voltage is generated across the junction. So this is the thermocouple junction it is maintained at some temperature these other junctions are maintained at different temperatures so usually due to compensate these work functions what you, you, you what you have studied in as part of your adc1 basics to compensate whenever two metals are being joined the work functions has to be compensated as part of the compensation of work function there is a possibility of movement of electrons the same principle lies here also so to compensate this work function there is a possibility of movement of charges due to this movement of charges a voltage will be developed here and this voltage generated across the junction is e naught proportional to delta t which is proportional to i square rms so considering a joule's heating effect we are going to have i square r so r is considered as a resistance of the material and i square is nothing but root mean square value due to heating the r root mean square current is going to be passed and that considered current is i square rms so output voltage proportional to delta t proportional to i square rms and preferably actual equation is e naught is equal to a delta t plus b delta t whole square and to have an ideal design and to have a linear characteristics we are going to consider it as a delta t assuming that b b value is going to be kept a very very lower value such that a dominates b and usually a output voltage is almost equal to a into delta t and this is possible only with appropriate design of thermocouple junction now this pmmc meter what we are going to take here 
that is been calibrated to read RMS current value. That is what I have written. Theta proportional dice square RMS means it is going to read a RMS current value. So those uh, RMS values, current values are going to be calibrated in as part of the PMC meter. So what is that current PMC meter is calibrated to read the current. What is that current RMS current? passing through the heated junction so this is my heated junction across this heated junction what is the current passed that will be indicated by the PMMC so that is what we have to remember so once you analyze the characteristic curves here this is going to have a non-linear input output relation so and uh, this once you draw the plot for delta t versus e naught that is a basic relation due to variation of temperature we are going to get a output voltage there and this e naught usually in terms of the micro volts very very lower value we are going to have that and uh, delta t in terms of degree centigrade once you see there is an increased curve exponentially increasing curve you are going to have or we can have it as a parabolic curve a non-linear relation you are going to observe the same will be reflected for the overall pmc indication values also this is the input for overall system and this is the output for overall system this is specifically for thermocouple junction for the thermocouple junction delta t is input and output voltage is e naught whereas coming to overall system considering a thermoelectric instrument having a combination of pmmc and thermocouple system the input what you are going to give is input current and output will be angular deflection here the same curve will be reflected a non-linear input output response you are going to see here the same relations we have considered we have considered a e v naught equal to a delta t plus b delta t whole square and consider a and b material constant are designed in such a manner that e naught is equal to a into delta t okay let us assume that it is following a joule's heating effect so we can have some constant k1 multiplied by i square r a k1 and r are constant and e naught is proportional to i square the same thing we can reflect in terms of output angular deflection theta is proportional to e naught so we can write theta equal to some other constant k2 into e naught substitute this e naught here a into k1 k2 i square r a k1 k2 r r constant assuming it as constant theta is proportional to i square and this i is nothing but your rms current that is referred as a square law response so Oh, the whatever we are going to have thermoelectric instrument this thermoelectric instrument the basic principle behind is Seebeck effect what we have discussed in the earlier okay and uh, coming to the limitation what we are going to have for uh, thermoelectric instrument is skin effect of the conductor so we are saying that metals are being used so that metal uh, is referred as a conductor and usually the skin effect is a problem what we come across as a limitation in case of the thermocouple type instrument what is the skin effect x outer is very very less than x inner that means reactance of outer part is very very less than reactance of inner part whenever the reactance is less what happens the current will be passing through that area rather than the inner side area so for a conductor inner side is there outer side is there outer side is showing a very low reactance when compared with inner side reactance so there is a possibility of passage of current through outer side of the conducting wire rather than the inner side so that is referred as a skin effect of the conductor this skin effect is a problem we come across in case of the thermocouple type instrument while using these metallic wires there for compensation what we are going to do usually you cannot avoid that for compensation up to 3 amperes heater wire is solid very thin that means for lower uh, application that is up to 3 amperes the heater wire is considered to be a solid and very thin um, structure we are going to consider but above 3 amperes a tubular designs are to be used tubular division means hollow inside hollow will be there and outside tube will be considered as a metal and that tube will be made of as very somewhat thicker such that it can bear a higher range of current so once you avoid this particular uh, consider this particular limitation and you address the uh, limitation automatically you can have a good performance from the thermoelectric instrument that means you can measure ac voltage you can measure ac current using thermoelectric instrument uh, and uh, under the high frequency operation so whereas coming to your rectifier type instrument again a pmmc based meter which can measure only for the low frequency application whenever you come you go for low frequency applications go with a rectifier type instrument once we want to use only pmmc 
okay so pmc based meters i want to use i want to measure ac voltage or ac current under low frequency operation we shall go with rectifier type instrument under high frequency operation we shall go with this particular thermoelectric type instrument in the rectifier type instrument we are using a rectifier rectifier is a rectifier principle is the basic principle of operation in case of thermoelectric type instrument we are using uh, uh, seebeck effect so dissimilar metals and thermocouple and all so seebeck effect is a basic principle of thermoelectric instrument okay students hope uh, the two uh, instruments uh, working principles are clear okay thank you